the only wholesaling real estate guide you need to get started right now. Guys, it's Rick Ginn. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the two fundamental things you need to do to get started in wholesaling. And then I'm gonna give you the guide, the six step guide on how to actually get started in wholesaling with absolutely no fluff. But before I get into it, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button, you hit that subscribe notification button to continue to receive the best information on wholesaling up to date. So let's start it out. And I want you to understand the two mechanical things that you have to solve before you get started in wholesaling. You see, I could give you the guide, but if I didn't give you the fundamental principles on what you need to get ready to start wholesaling, most likely you are gonna wind up being a stat of a failed wholesaler. So number one is you have to have the right mindset. So many people coming into wholesaling like, this is gonna be easy, it's a piece of cake, I'm just gonna take my old self and put it in the wholesaling, it's gonna work perfect. Perfectly. It's not going to work that way. You have to shift your mindset. You have to be completely open. You have to immerse yourself and you have to be open to abundance of opportunity. And you also have to understand that if you use your old goggles, meaning your old job, your old self, and you put that same personality, that same subconscious and your same beliefs and thoughts in the wholesaling, you're going to get the exact same result. So you have to make a shift. How do you make that shift? Listen, go to the Rick Ginn YouTube channel. I do tons of motivational videos. Remember, motivation is just to spark you, to open your mind, but you have to have a shift in your mindset before you can start the guide in wholesaling. Number two, you have to have an education. So many people just f solely focus on motivation and hype. The reality is you're gonna have to get a foundation of wholesaling and you're gonna have to get it from somebody you trust. How do you find someone you trust? That's the hard part in wholesaling. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been doing this 21 years. I think I've established my trust. My son's been doing it seven years. So we have 27, 28 years combined. I think we've solved that problem. Go over to freewholesaling.com. But please, whoever you use, make sure they have a credible career in wholesaling and they're still doing doing it today, I recommend someone at least 10 years in the business because you know they're going to stick around. So now that we got the two fundamentals out of the way, let's get into the six steps to get you started in wholesaling. So the first thing we have to do is step one is locate motivated sellers. I'm going to keep this super simple because it's not complicated. Why do we have to find motivated sellers? Because wholesaling's founded on buying properties at deep discount. Who's going to sell your property at a deep discount? Someone that's motivated. How do I know if they're motivated? It's very simple. You need people that need to sell their house not people that want to sell their house. Some people that want to sell their house, a small percentage of them might be motivated, but people need to sell their house. They have to cut a deal now. Those are the people that wholesalers focus on. You see, if you chase around people that just want to sell their house, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. And honestly, you're probably better off being a realtor. So the next question of locating a motivated seller is how do I do it, Rick? It's real simple. You have to find the most motivated list. Now, if you're just getting started out and you don't have a lot of money, I don't even care if you have a ton of money. My first step is always to have you go to government lists. Why? Because where there's smoke, there's fire. And what do I mean by that is these people have problems. And if you want to learn more about our government list, go over to freewholesaling.com. The lists are exhaustive and they're long, but I'll run through them in a quick, quick snapshot for you. Number one, you can go to the courthouse and you can get these government lists. You can get foreclosures, you can get evictions, and you can get probates. All three of those have a ton of motivation. They all have their different issues. Once again, go to freewholesaling.com. I'll explain it in detail how to do it. Those lists are free, financially free, but they're gonna cost you time and they're gonna cost you energy. And I teach you how to get these lists and you have to focus on getting these lists. The second set of lists you're gonna get from your city and county. And these are gonna focus on code violations, water shutoffs, and fire damage properties. And once again, some of these lists are free but they're gonna cost you a lot of time and energy and you've got to know how to ask for these lists. Now, once you get these lists, these lists are gonna be challenging to get, but if you do the hard work up front, it's gonna be much easier to get discounted properties and be able to easily sell them to your cash buyers. I'm teaching you to do the hard work up front to make your journey easier. 
do not buy into going into MLS with no experience and think you're going to attack that list. Those are people that want to sell their house. They don't need to sell their house. And it's going to be really easy up front. And it's going to be a nightmare on the end. You've got to understand that as a new wholesaler when you're coming in the game. Do the hard work up front and you'll be rewarded much faster in the end. The next step on step, I'm going to give you step two because I, I broke this down to make it mechanical. It's just driving for dollars. And this isn't complicated, guys. You do not need a course on driving for dollars. This part drives me nuts. Get in your car and go look for ugly houses in neighborhoods you want to buy. Now, if you live in a really nice neighborhood, understanding that's probably where you don't want to be buying. You want to be buying around the average price points. So drive through these neighborhoods, look for high grass, blue tarp roofs, boarded up windows, just ugly properties, especially vacant ones, and make a list and write them down. Step three as part of our locating service to get wholesale deals is you got to network. Networking is actually simple. And I want you to understand the rules of networking is you have to provide the other value before you can ask something in return. You just can't go in and demand stuff. So how do we network? You go to your local RIAs, which are basically real estate investment groups. Great place. Be careful. They're going to try to sell you everything. Go early, stay late because the networking before and after is where the real value is. You'll find cash buyers there. You'll find people that want to JV with you and you'll get a feel of what's going on in your market. That's a great place. But often, guys, family and friends, people, everybody has issues with real estate. People go through divorces. People go through probate. They go through death. People go through loss of job. Help them out. Remember, you only work with the people that actually want to work with you. You cannot force someone to sell your house. So remember in networking, provide value. Ask them about their services, what they're doing and how you can help them out. Then you ask, hey, in the event you ever need to sell your house, I'd be happy to help you out. Don't be that guy or gal that comes in and goes, I need all the cash buyers in here right now. Give me all your information. I run from people like that. Provide value, provide a synergy, and it will actually work out for you in the long run. Don't forget your realtors, your property management companies, your title companies, your bail bondsmen. I could go on forever. If you want to learn more, go over to freewholesaling.com. I'll teach you how to access all these networking groups. Step four is now engaging your sellers. Rick, how do I engage a seller? The first thing you have to do is steps one through three, you're going to have to do a process called skip tracing. And skip tracing's nothing more than the art of getting people's information. So you go over to property appraiser site, you get the seller's information, you get their mailing address, you see if they live there, if they're an absentee owner, if they are, that's called a landlord. And then what you can do is go over to truepeoplesearch.com and you can skip trace their phone number. That's a free service. It's going to cost you time, but if you don't have money, you got to use it. If not, you can use some paid services through listrei.com or you can use batch. It's completely up to you. A paid service is going to cost you anywhere from 12 to 15 cents per lead. It's, it's kind of nominal if you think about it. But you got to make a decision if you have money. And that's how you're going to start the engagement process with your sellers. Once you do that, I really, in my opinion, when you're starting out, to me, there's two real options. So you don't have the experience to talk to people. So I want to get it to you. So the best way to start out is simply cold calling. It's fast, it's efficient, and it is a quantity game. It is straight up a quantity game. You're going to lack the experience. We give you the exact scripts over at freewholesaling.com. I'm going to teach you how to convert scripts to conversations. You can talk with these people. And the idea is you're going to have to have quantity. You can't call like 20 people and expect to get a result. You're going to be calling thousands. You need to know this up front because this is how wholesaling works. And what happens when you go through that process, you're actually going to gain the experience and the confidence and you'll understand how to overcome objections. So when we come to paid services down the road, you'll be able to monetize those new engagement activities much easier than starting out as a new wholesaler. Guys, a lot of time people start out with a ton of money and Honestly, i rather you go through the free services and understand how to find leads. And then once you understand it and you're all in with wholesaling, then we can do paid services like direct mail. You can do like endless amounts of services. But on this particular video, we're talking about how you can get started today. Cold calling is by far number one. But here's what happens in cold calling. Most people freak out and they get scared. And remember, I talked in the beginning about the two fundamentals. You got to have the mindset. If you are wildly uncomfortable sitting in your old job or living in your parents' house and you're stuck, you're going to have to make a change in your life and it's going to be uncomfortable. It's only going to be uncomfortable and awkward for a short while because you're not used to the new lifestyle, but you have to make a commitment. You, you are not risking
saving your life. You're not going to be hurt. The worst thing is you're going to get rejected. Get used to it. Suck it up. You can do this. The next vehicle we're going to use for engagement is basically reverse driving for dollars. And this is basically we're going to take all those leads I said before, and you basically create a logical list to drive around and put a sticky note on each one of those doors. Now, in the age of ring doorbells and stuff, I used to do door knocking. It's very tough. So if you get 100 leads, you put out 100 sticky notes and your sticky note says, hey, just got a quick question about your house. Put your phone number on there. Maybe 10 people call you back, five you set an appointment with. You just saved a ton of time. Now it takes works to set up the logistics to make those scheduled um, visits, but it is well worth it because it has a high engagement rate. It's very personable and people want to know what's going on. And most of the time you're only working with people that have an interest in working with you. So reverse driving for dollars works for all the leads except for probate and evictions because probate, the person is deceased. So don't put a note on the door. And evictions is there's a tenant there. The landlord's not there. So you want to avoid just those two types of leads when you do reverse driving for dollars. So now let's move on to step five, which is all about execution. That's right. We are going to execute. How do we execute in wholesaling? Once we have a conversation and we learn how to qualify our sellers, which you can learn our acronyms, we, we teach you MCTP, all at freewholesaling.com, 100% free course. You now are going to write contracts and make offers. And I'm going to teach you a technique inside of freewholesaling.com. It's called go for no, because you don't have the experience. I'm going to teach you how to write a comp less than 10 minutes, meaning calculate a comp so you can put a contract together. You see, if you spend more than 10 minutes on a comp, you might as well be a realtor. Because if I deal with 10 people that possibly want to sell me their house for to a wholesaler, probably one's going to stick. So why am I going to do comp on 10 houses when I'm only going to do it on one? The reality is you need to see if the motivation is there. We test it with the go for no, because all sellers have a price in their head. Stop trying to guess what the price is. The go for no technique teaches you how to pull that price out with the least amount of resistance. I'm going to warn you, it's uncomfortable, but it works. Why? I've got 20 plus years experience doing this. Trust me, I did it the hard way the first few years and I learned a technique that simplified my wholesaling career. And step six is to sell your contracts. All we're going to do is go out and find cash buyers. You're probably saying, Rick, how do I find cash buyers? This is actually the easy part, in my opinion. You're going to pull up the for rent ads. Why for rent? Why rent? Because these are landlords that usually own properties and they would love to add to their portfolios. You go to listrei.com. You can pull the information of cash owners within the last six months in that geographical area. You want to go to your local RIA meetings. We talked about networking earlier. It's a great place. There's tons of landlords there and they're always starving for deals. And then don't forget about your realtors. They do represent cash buyers. Well, Rick, I don't want to pay a realtor. Trust me, you're going to get a lot more than 6% through a realtor. They're going to make the transaction super easy. And a lot of times you only even have to talk to the buyer, the real estate agent handles the whole thing for you. Listen, the bottom line is if you get good deals under contract at a significant discount, these properties are easy to sell. How do you do that? You have to go through the six techniques I just taught you because if you take the easy route and you call on MLS and you just do FISBOs, it's going to seem easy up front and you're going to get frustrated. You're going to hit a brick wall. That's how gurus sell you courses. I'm here to give you the skinny of how wholesaling really works. And the really cool part thing is steps one through six, you just constantly repeat. Now, in the beginning, it's going to be slow. It's going to be painful. You're pushing a boulder uphill with very little momentum. It takes a lot of effort to get it started. But once you get it started, if you keep pushing and put your focus and energy in it, amazing things will happen in your life. It's going to seem hard at first, but if you hang in there and you consistently work and stay disciplined, I've just given you the snapshot of how to get started in wholesaling and how to expand. Not only do your first deal get you to first hundred grand, go over to freewholesaling.com. And guys, if you got value from this video, do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button. You hit that subscribe notification button so you can continue to get videos just like this on the truth of wholesaling. I appreciate you guys. This is Rick Ginn, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.